Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively. Stop and say we are celebrating um, our Independence Day. <laughs> Africa, we are not actually free. We are not free from the imperialists. We are not free from France. And we are not free from United Kingdom called Britain. Um, as I managed to make this video this morning, because there are little kids here, I don't know if they are going to make noise. But then, let me just quickly make this video before uh, my time. What does freedom really mean to you? Freedom is the right to speak. The freedom is the ability to do things without foreign domination. Freedom means you and you alone. But I'm asking you now this morning. From the four edge of Africa, none of African government, I mean none of the African countries actually have what they call freedom. In the early or middle of the 18th century, the Africans were clamoring, oh, we want to get our freedom, we want to get our freedom. Do you know what the white people did? They're imperialists. You know what they did? They went to Europe and sit together and talk and say, you, France, you take this country. You, Britain, you take this country. You, this, take the, they share all the African countries. They pretend to give us freedom that we did not have. Nobody fights war to get that independence. Is there any war? No, you don't get free. I mean, you can't get freedom without fight. Let me digress you a little. Do you actually know that Israel got their independence from the Britain? Did you know that, did you know that before the independence, before the independence, Israel fights war with the Britain? And they won. Go to your Google. Right? Where is Elat? Elat. Let me spell Elat for you. E L Elat. I don't know if I'm going to get it up. Elat. Elat. E L A T. Elat. There's a place called Elat in Israel. Not far from Egypt. Across is Jordan. Israel fight war with Britain and push them out of Israel. And finally, they got their independence. And I'm going to tell you what independence means. When a foreigner comes to you and dominates you, speak foreign language to you, and when the foreigners goes back and you're still maintaining that language that the foreigners brought to you, that foreigners, you are not free. I'm telling you guys today, all African countries that are still speaking French and English, none of you are free. I can bet my life to that. If you're looking for what it means by freedom or independence, it must be out of a foreign... Okay, let me, let me do something. Let me do something. I'm going to go to Google now and check what is the meaning of freedom. I'm sorry I didn't prepare for this. What is the meaning of freedom? Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm a little bit crazy. I don't know. What is the meaning of freedom? A freedom, the power of, the power or right to act. 
speak or think as one wants. I bet make you understand though. Let me come back again. The power or right to act, speak, or think as you want without hindrance or restraint. We do have some freedom of choice. Now, let me go to down a little bit. I'm not going to be reading everything. No. The absence of subjects to foreign. Maybe my English not they sound well. The absence of subjection to foreign domination or depositic to government. When I don't hear them, I'm going to use Nigeria and Ghana as a case study. Whatever Ghana has now as diamond or gold in Ghana, whatever resources that Ghana have right now as i talk to you there is what they call treaties the you the britain has rights on every resources that ghana has go and find out please go and do research on this every resources that ghana has the major resources that ghana has all the time the uk's the imperialists who colonized united Ghana, <laughs> they signed every hundred years. I think about 1500 years, they signed a paper that they own some percentage of whatever you have. Same thing goes to Nigeria. You see the oil well, you see the oil well in Nigeria. Who owns it? Who do you think owns it? Sometimes we cry, Oh, we be a friend, we are the one who own the oil. Oh, Nigeria, you know, the United Kingdom owns our oil they are hidden document that you cannot see they are hidden document that you cannot see this is the reason why you see united kingdom they will never and never condemn every politician who come to uk to buy house they will never condemn any politicians who come to UK for medical tourism. They will never condemn any medical, I mean, any politicians who brought their children to school abroad. Check all these politicians in Africa. Everybody want to steal. Let me, tell, let me tell you something you've never heard today. From all corners of Africa, all our politicians in Africa, all our politicians in Africa are nothing but smooth criminals smooth criminals including south africa that you people thought the government of south africa are doing well go and do research on google now go to social media ramaposa stealed money and hide it in on the ground in the farm they found it present south african government do you think your government government of south africa i mean our african politicians do not love you they don't love they don't love you and i if they actually know what it means by being a leader by being a president or by being a governor of a state they don't actually know the meaning it means that you are serving the people you are supposed to serve the poor masses you are supposed to listen to the people you are supposed to listen to people and hear their problem you are supposed to solve people's problem you are there to serve but the servant become the boss the boss become the servant african breed nothing but smooth criminals africans are not free i not go forget what i want to talk about. i not go forget what i want to talk about. i'm telling you i'm asking you now do you do you actually know the meaning of freedom you don't know the meaning of freedom. You don't actually know the meaning of freedom. None of us know the meaning of freedom. Freedom means there must be hand of foreigners out of our land. I mean, we have to, we got to keep that language. There are a lot of people come here and make jest of me and say, "Oh, you don't speak you, you don't you don't speak good English. You don't speak good English." And I look at them as moron. When you are calling an African man, somebody brought a foreign language to you 
they left and still leave the foreign language to you. Many of you, if you want to go to UK now to study, they tell you to do EILT English, English test. They exploit you. Am I lying? If you if you are if you are a Kenya, you want to go to UK now, you want to go to Canada, they would subject you to nothing but a tissue paper. They must exploit you. Same United Kingdom. You have to go to their embassies. Pay so much, you, you are going to pay a huge amount of money to write English that they taught you from your childhood. You have to pay for it before you cross to United Kingdom. What a shame. What a shame. And I ask myself all the time, what are all this governor and the president doing? What are the presidents and what are the politicians doing? Somebody who colonized you, we speak English more than our language, and if you want to go to their country to school, even as a graduate, they are going to ask you, hey, you have to do English tests. What a shame. The English tests should be from, it should be for people from China. If it, sh it should be for people from Ukraine. It should be for people from Russia. It should be for people from those countries that do not speak and they don't care about your English. It should be from South Korea. But Africa, you are being subjected to nothing but like a tissue paper. You think you have freedom. Every year you bring out the flag and say, oh, Independence Day. Independence Day, my foot. The day the Britain left Israel, they left with their English. I want you to listen to me and listen well. I said, the day the Britain, the British, the moment they left this country, they left with their English. The Israelites pick up their language and make it a priority. If you are a doctor, no matter how important you are, if you are coming from United States to work in Israel, the first thing you do is you come to learn this language. If you want to be here, learn the language. If they want to put you in any office in this country, you cannot speak the you can't speak Hebrew. You can't speak what they call Ivrit. My brother, you are nothing but fuck off. You have to write, you don't need to write in they don't want you to write in English. Write in this language here. The English people left with their English. That is what they call freedom. You see all these your politicians, they use the English to colonize you. They use the English to brainwash you. When they come to speak English, you think they have anything upstairs just to speak grammar. They want to speak grammar. They use grammar to confuse you people. And you thought that is freedom. Okay. I've said this many times. The moment Africa realized that they are crazy, the moment Africa realized that they are still colonized, the moment you leave that language and begin to learn mathematics, in your indigenous language you begin to learn engineering in your indigenous language you begin to learn the doctorate degree in your indigenous language when you go to china they have their oh are you from china how are you <laughs> yeah in china you don't speak much english right yeah you speak your language you go to school with your language right you have your own abcd yeah, that's what I'm telling the Africans. Yeah. We are colonized by the Britain. They come with English, they left English. That is why we are still struggling. They're supposed to go with their English. Then we use our language to learn mathematics, to be a doctor, to be an engineer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you people are doing well. That is why they don't like you. Because you don't want to be colonized by them. You don't you understand? You understand what I mean? I when, you know, when you America and China, you're from China. You know what is going on? China is supposed to be number one in economy. But the, the Americans, they are making like, no, we are number one. China, yeah, not no, number one. They are fighting. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean now. Yeah. You are doing well. Uh -huh. Don't mind them. Yeah, thank thank you. you very much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, bye-bye. So this is what we are talking about. You heard him? They have their ABC in China. They learn how to fix everything in their language. There's no need for English. There's no need for English. I'm telling you now, there's no need for English. English is just a language. How come Israel, the doctors in Israel cannot speak English and they are the, one of the best doctors? If you go to check, Israel is in top 10 
No, is it top 10? Israel is in top top 20. Israel is in top. I forgot. Don't let me don't let me just make a mistake. When you are talking about the best hospital in the world, Israel is among them. In technology, Israel is among them. Let me tell you something. The actual time that Israel woke up was 1941. When Hitler began to kill Israel in the World War. Do you know what happened? That was 1941 to 1945. If I'm not wrong, but I know from 1941, Hitler began to kill the Jews. And then the Jew began to wake up and say, you know what? We are going back to the Holy Land. And when they came to the Holy Land, the Britain were here. They began to fight for their rightful land. They fought with the Palestinians. They fought with the Britain. They fought with Jordan. They fought with about four or five Middle East countries before they are here now. This is where they are now. And they are here to stay. They are here to stay, whether you like it or not. You may, tell, you may, you may say, some of you say, uh, some people, some of my followers say, oh, the Israelites that are here now are mixed up. They are not the original Jew. The Jew are supposed to be black people. Oh, black people are the original Jew. Let me tell you something, guys. The Israelites who migrate from Europe to this country are already mixed up. We are talking about thousands of years ago. You don't expect them. When you go to Palestinian, you are going to see some... Even the Palestinians are already white. Go to Egypt, they are always white. We were not like this. All of, let me tell you something. God created, created us. We, we were mixed. They are light-skinned people. The Palestinians are, were always a light-skinned people, but they have male, um, male, um, um, what do you call um, um, I try to uh, melanin. Uh, they have melanin. Yeah, I'm sorry. They have melanin. When you go to Egypt, the Egyptians are categorized as black people. The Israel, the Palestinians are categorized as black people. Do you know why? They have much, much melanin. <laughs> this English, uh, you see, this English, I always confuse people. Melanin. I'm talking about melanin. You guys know what melanin is. Melanin, if you are a black man, you have strong, you have melanin. Melanin is that thing that is, is a system. Just go and Google about it. So today we are not even talking about Israel. We are talking about Africa. Africa is not free. Let me tell you something. For those of you that are watching me in foreign land, you don't actually know why the reason why you see me cry all the time on social media. It's because I want to be free. I am an Igbo extraction of Nigeria. I want a freedom because I've been marginalized. Right now, as I speak to you, in the southeast Nigeria, the military, because I'm crying for freedom, they are killing the youth right there. I told you guys, I'm not going to be long on this video. I'm not going to be long on this video. When you look behind me, you see the children, they are coming. They're going to be making noise here. So I'm going to cut this story short. Till today evening. Um, Ekwere Madu goes to court today. Ekwere Madu is one of the Senate Nigerian politicians who took a guy of 15 years, allegedly, to UK to harvest the organ and give to her daughter. So he was arrested in United Kingdom. Today they are going to court. So probably in the evening after the court, you are going to see me on social media. We are going to come and talk more. The, ch the kids are here, you see. And um, I just want to give them a chance to do their play. And another thing I want to tell you is this. For those of you who want to be seeing the videos, if you want to see all the kind of videos that... Um, um are worrisome what exactly happening in southeast nigeria how the soldiers are killing the Igbos in southeast the reason why i cry on social media all the time that i want freedom and i want biafra please if you want to see the videos i won't be able to be sharing the videos to everybody one by one 
what I want you to do is, if you want me to join, if you want to join my group, I'm going to create a group today. If you want to join the group so that you'll be seeing all the kind of video we can post on Facebook, we can post on YouTube, and we can post it in anywhere near social media except WhatsApp. Please, if you want to join my WhatsApp group, just ask me. Please put me on the WhatsApp group. Then I'll begin to share you video that will make you cry. I'll begin to tell, show you the videos that make me cry all the time that I really actually want the freedom. I'm from Southeast Nigeria and I speak Igbo. You may have seen a lot of people on social media crying, Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. Yes, we want Biafra. We want freedom. There was war of 1966, 67 between Nigerians and Biafrans. It was a genocide. Nobody wants to talk about it. Not even Britain. And this time around, you know what? I'm going to make a video to United Nation, to United Kingdom, that it's right, it is high time we pick up a gun. If they, want, if they don't want to interfere, now it's, it's almost right time we pick up a gun and fight and get our freedom. I know we have to pick up a gun. There's no way we, can, we are not going to pick up a gun. Because they say freedom is not gotten in a platter of gold. Nobody wants to fight. Nobody wants to die. But we got to do what we got to do. After all, United States of America fought Britain to get their freedom. The state of Israel fought Britain to get their freedom. South African blacks fought the apartheid to get their freedom. Yes, of course. But Namdi Azikiwe, who got independence in 1960 for Nigeria, did not fight a war. That is why we are still not independent. Everything we have as resources are being owned by Britain imperialists. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you guys later. If you want me to put you on the WhatsApp group, the WhatsApp group is just strictly for me to be showing you things that you don't see on TV. I don't want it to be a nuisance. That is why I don't like creating WhatsApp group. But because of some of our fr friends, some of the followers who are not even Nigerians at all, they have to see this. I'll be showing you exactly why I'm crying. I'll be showing you the videos why I am always here to cry about Africa. Africa, Africa. Thank you, uh, Okpe Olua. Yes, Yoruba Nation now. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys later. Uh, peace. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.